Shari is the perfect example of a woman who has extremely high sexual market value, but has extremely low relationship market value. Beautiful woman. Solid 9 out of 10. One of the, dude, one of the hottest black women I've ever seen, celebrity or otherwise. Unfortunately for her, she might not look like the typical black woman. She damn sure acts like one. Gentlemen, gentlemen, this is the problem, man. This is incredible. This woman has been nothing but, somebody said it, she's been nothing but combative the entire time on the island. Javen hasn't done or said anything to anybody. Every At every turn, he's trying to reassure her, I love you, I'm here for you, you're my forever girl, and all she does is fight back. That's all she does. All this woman does is fight with this dude. They have 10 minutes left before they are separated for 20 plus days and might possibly never see each other again. And she spent the last 10 minutes fighting with this dude. And when he's saying, hey, give me one last bit of affection before we could possibly split up for good. No, she's still playing the game. I'm going to be combative to make him continue to be all, what's wrong? No. Mm -mm. Nope. Shari's got to go. Shari looks good. Shari looks really good. She's Listen, she's the best looking girl of all the women in the relationships, but dude, she is by far, by far and away the worst girlfriend. Shari is the perfect example of a woman who has extremely high sexual market value, but has extremely low relationship market value. Dude, beautiful woman. Solid nine out of 10. One of the, dude, one of the hottest black women I've ever seen, celebrity or otherwise. But unfortunately for her, she might not look like the typical black woman. She damn sure acts like one. She's combative. She cuts him off. She's disrespectful. Nothing this, day, nothing this dude does or says is right. Anything this dude says, she's got a problem with it. Last 10 minutes that we could possibly that we could possibly see together, she still, want, she still wants to play these games. This, listen, this is why women like this end up alone. She, listen, she, listen, she's going to get plenty of opportunities. A lot of guys are going to date her because of the way she looks. A lot of guys, a lot of guys are going to date this woman because of the way she looks. Dude, it is not going. And here's the thing. The older she gets, the sooner they leave. She's young and hot. She's 25 now, right? She has no idea that Jabin is the best that she can do. No idea. Jabin is going to eventually leave this woman. He is going to eventually leave her. She's going to start dating around, and she'll, listen, she'll get guys that are attractive, as attractive as Javen. Maybe not quite as, but she'll get close. They're not going to stick around for eight years, man. Not like this dude did. Nah, man. Older, older men who know how to handle women have handled women like this. It's not going to take them eight years to figure out that they got to go. It's going to take them, the first guy is going to take them about eight months, right? They'll be taken by his, taken by her beauty. Eight months. Listen, sorry, I got to go. Dude, he'll probably ghost her. The next guy, probably going to take eight weeks, right? Enamored by her beauty, but she starts to get all crazy. Nitpicking, fighting, fighting about every little thing. Eight weeks and he's gone. The next guy, it's going to be eight days. He's going he's gonna to bang her for eight days. He's going to bang her for eight days and day six is going to be like, whoa, like what the hell? Who pissed in your cornflakes today? I'm out. The guy after that, it's going to take eight hours. He's going to bang her on the first date. And then right after they bang, she's going to start in with this nonsense she's doing here with Javen. He's going to be out. The final guy, she's going to sit down with him, have an eight-minute conversation, and he's going to be, I'm out. That's it. I'm out. I'm out of here. This woman is playing the game. All she's doing is playing games. She takes pleasure in manipulating this young... And, Javen doesn't know any better, man. He was probably raised by a single mother, right? Probably raised by a single mother, so he didn't know how to handle this. She does and says stupid little things, and he just plays right into plays right into it. One of these days, dude, one day he's going to wake up. He's going to wake up, man. And one of those days might be, imagine this, guys. Think about this. There are... Dude, there are at least there are almost there, there are what 20 beautiful women on this island. A lot of these women are white girls. Javen, I believe, Javen's probably never dated a white woman in his life. Probably never slept with a white woman in his life. 
But these white girls on that island, they're going to show him some interest. And when they're not combative, when they're not argumentative, when they're actually cooperative, respectful, and there's not a fight every time he opens his mouth, that's going to wake him up. He's going to be like, oh, oh, wait a minute. I didn't, you mean all women are not like, I thought Shari was like all hot girls. Wait a minute. They're actually girls that are hot and nice. Are you kidding me? And Sherry's going to be, dude, Sherry is going to be the fuck up out of there. She's going to be the fuck up out of there, man. She is going to be out of there. And she's going to spend the next five years chasing his ass. Every guy that Shari dates after he leaves her, she's going to, you, you already know how this is going to work. He's going to leave her, right? She's going to leave her. He's going to leave her. She's going to be dating around. Every guy she dates is going to have to compete with Javen. They're, they don't know it, but they're going to have to compete. They're going to have to compete. One day, the guy she's dating, they'll have a great day. Then the next day, she has an attitude. Something's wrong with her. Well, what the hell is wrong? We've all been in these situations before, right? You're seeing a girl, dating a girl. She's awesome one day, and then the very next, she just has an attitude for no, for no reason. You're like, wait a minute, I didn't do anything. We don't know why she has an attitude, because her ex-boyfriend is not her anymore. She's been her ex-boyfriend, and, and she found that her ex-boyfriend now has a girlfriend, or he's somebody else. That's what she's pissed about. That's going to be the situation with Javen and Shari. Every man, every man Shari dates is going to have to compete with Javen. They don't know it. They have no idea. It is, she is always going to go back to Javen. And at that point, at that point, then Shari will have to be, she'll have to be non-combative. She'll have to be, she'll have to be feminine. She'll have to be docile. She'll have to be submissive. And at some point, Javen as a man thinks to himself, and here's the thing, Javen might actually, if this happens, Javen might actually be, get, be, be, be re-smitten by her. So let's play this out. Javen and Shari break up. Javen leaves Shari, forget it. Shari, obviously, re oh my God, I got to get him back. Well, she knows ex-girlfriends treat you the best, right? You think Shari's going to be the combatant that she is now? No. Javen's going to be like, listen, you're not my girlfriend. You ain't, pff, you talking to me like that for, right? Shari's going to know this, so she's going to be submissive. She's going to be sweet. She's not going to argue, right? She's, dude, she's going to be the perfect woman. Javen's going to be like, oh, you changed. He's going to dump Amber, the white girl, he, and he's going to get back with Shari. Guess what's going to happen? Shari's going to go right back to being the insufferable, argumentative, combative, not agreeable that she was for the last eight years. She'll keep Javen on the hook for another eight months or so. Then Javen's like, you know what? I'm out of here. The, the cycle will then repeat itself. Shari's going to come. She'll, she'll date a couple of guys. She'll come back to Javen. Sweet, submissive, blah, 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 blah. Javen might take the bait one more time. All right, I'll give you another chance. This time it's two months in. He's like, you know what? I'm out. I can't, I can't take this. Then the cycle repeats itself one more time, but this time Javen catches on. So Javen's doing whatever he's doing with other girls. Shari's dating other guys. She comes back to him being the perfect girlfriend, sweet, submissive, non-combative. Then the bell goes off and Javen said, well, wait a minute. When I'm in a committed relationship with this woman, she's an insufferable. She's only sweet when we're not committed. She's only she's only nice to me when I'm in other when we're not in a relationship. And at that point, he's got her right where he wants her. Oh, this dude just kept it real. It's easier to take the plunge at Temptation Island than into marriage. Yeah, dude. This guy, Evan, listen, I'm trying to tell you. I told you guys this yesterday. Evan... Don't let this dude's good boy persona fool you. Evan, I believe, is a f***ing assassin. I think, honestly, man, it might not even be Javen who the most. It might be this dude. This dude, listen, this dude's got the genes, man. He's a good-looking dude. He's tall. He comes from alpha stock. It's a rat. I, I'm here, right? Already she's confrontational. Already she's confrontational. I'm here, right? Just say, well, yeah, of course. Do you see how, I'm telling you, Shari... As good as she looks, she, dude, she's beautiful. Dude, she's a nine. Okay. She doesn't sound like she's, a, she doesn't sound like she's hood, but she has a, she has a typical black woman attitude. The guy just asked her a straight up question. Listen, you said yesterday you were not impressed. So are you here to just pump yourself up, give yourself an ego boost? Or are you actually trying to meet people? What's hers? Now what her response should have been, listen, I know that, that it, listen, the situation and me and my boyfriend are fighting and I saw these all, but yes, I am here to actually meet you. She's like, well, I'm here, aren't I? 
She's gonna turn a lot. She's gonna turn a lot of people off, man. She looks good, but she's a train wreck, man. She really is. <laughs> Let's be best friends. That's it. She does. Oh, look, look, look. This is funny. Look at the look on his face. He's like, damn, I've already blown it. I've already blown it. Uh oh. Your boy Evan's got two on him. All I'm trying to tell you, it is gonna be the Evan Javen show. It is going to be the Evan Javen show. It is going to be Ebony and Ivory. It is going to be White Men Can't Jump. Man, it is going to be Carl Malone and John Stockton. Like, it, <laughs> yo, it's going to be Chocolate Thunder and White Lightning. Like, these dudes are going to run the one-two game on the real talk. Evan's going to get in there and smash them first. Javen's going to be smashing another broad. They're going to be switching. Pieces. Watch. Look at the body language. Javen knows he's getting some. Oh, boy, the other black dude definitely knows he is. Evan's not worried because he's probably already smashed three broads. Look at John. Ooh, I hope I, I hope it gets tonight. Look at, oh, look at John. He's like, you. And listen, let's let's just keep it real. Katie made the right choice. If there was any going to take John from Katie, it was definitely, it was definitely her. He definitely got a thing for when, blonde. When, when Catherine walked out, Katie was all like, ooh, she's a blonde. You like blondes. Ooh, she's got, she's got a big, she's got a, an unbelievable body. She's got nice big, ooh, look at her ass, right? Katie was all about, oh, yeah, go after Catherine. But as soon as she sees that it is now a possibility, and as soon as she sees how much John likes Catherine, now she has to block her. And, yes, Catherine's legs are ridiculous. Evan, listen to Evan lying. <laughs> Evan is lying through his teeth. I, I, I kept, I stayed away from this. No, you didn't. He's cheated on her before. Look at look at John. All of a sudden, John. All of a sudden, John looks a little more manly. Looks a little more confident. Don't really look as worried anymore, does he? Look at Katie looking down. She's like, hmm, maybe, maybe this. I'm going to tell you what, guys. I think that this was Katie's intention was to, listen, we're going to come here. I'm going to a bunch of dudes. I'm going to pawn John off on one of these over here, and we're going to break up, right? I, I, I agree with you. That was, that, 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 that was her full intention. That was her full intention. But here's what happens when you actually try to carry it through, right? Is that you become more attractive. Catherine is more attractive than Katie. Catherine is far more attractive than Katie. Katie's what, a seven, an eight, right? Dude, Catherine, dude. I don't, Catherine's a seven. Katie is, pro, or I'm sorry, Katie is a seven, seven and a half. Catherine is an eight and a half, maybe a nine. King Life says that abundance mindset is kicking in for John. Yes, it is. He's like, yeah, my girl is worried about the other. I'm in the driver's seat. That's not what happened, Shari. He asked you a straight up question. He said, you said you weren't impressed with any of us. So are you here to just pump up your ego or are you really trying to meet us? Which was a legitimate question given her actions from the last night. And here she is. Accusing him of being angry and aggressive. There was no anger. He was as cool and calm as collected as could be. Look at Shari. You see how Shari's looking at him? She is looking at him. She's looking at him as though she thinks she has him wrapped around her little finger. Javen is still very young. Javen is still very, very young. But Shari knows more about the game than Javen does. Shari has Javen convinced that sleeping with other women outside of his relationship is wrong. But she looks almost pleased with the fact that she's sitting there brainwashing him. Look how she's looking at My, how the tables have turned. He's the one laying back, sipping on the wine. And she's like, I love you, baby. He's going to lay it back. Yeah, I love you, too. Mm -hmm. Where's Catherine at? Where's she at? Where's she go? Guys, bing, bing. guys, yo, real talk. Shari and Javen. And a lot of guys who don't have experience. Because Javen doesn't have a lot of experience with relationships. He's dated this girl since high school. He's definitely around on her, but he has no idea how to conduct himself within the confines of a committed sexual relationship. And we are seeing why we're seeing why attractive women are f***ing headaches. Everything this dude says, Shari has a problem with. Stop cutting me off. Nothing. Dude, she's a typical black woman. She doesn't look like the typical black woman, but she absolutely acts like the typical black woman, for sure. I'm gonna tell you what! Look at this! Dude, we all thought we all thought that Katie was going to be the one to say, listen, get me the f out of here. Get me on the island of right away. She is the last one to let him go. And the only person, dude, she's going to be thinking about two people this entire time. She's going to be thinking about John. She's going to be thinking about Kristen. Look at this. 
Look at this. She cannot let him go. Look, they have to pull her away. Oh, this poor girl. Listen, she's ugly, but listen, man. Evan really, truly loves her. He really does. He's going to f***, but it has nothing to do with the fact that he does or does not love you. That's just all there is to it, man. Evan's going to f***. Listen, Evan's father cheated on her mother. That doesn't mean that he didn't still love his mother. Guys, sex is different for men and women, man. It's funny. The women, you want to know why the women look worried? You want to know why the women look more worried than the guys? There's some good looking guys over there, but that's why none of the guys were like, except for John uses, uses block on the short gun shooter. But there's really not that much talent over there on the guy's side. There's all kinds of talent on the female side, y'all. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, yes. Listen, those are some bad bitches. Dude, there's Catherine. There's Jeffrey. Oh, my God. Yo. Unbelievable. This is, it's so funny. We all thought the we're going to have the upper hand. They don't. Mm -mm. They don't. Watch my live breakdowns of Temptation Island absolutely free at sharpstream.com. Chat privileges and access to the live replays are at patreon.com slash Donovan Sharp. Links in description.